So recently I got a lot of comments and I wanted to address them here today. Two of the biggest comments I always get, you need to add more voltage to this project. You need to put a lot more in, you know, 10 kV, maybe 20 kV. So in this video, I'm going to put 20 kV in here and I'm going to show you what it does. Also, I get a lot of, you need to change your motor speed and it needs to go much, much faster. And I just want to show you the imbalance in the whole craft and exactly what it looks like when you do that. So let's get into it and let's start ripping some voltage, guys. This is going to be a fun day for me and an educational one for everybody else. Well, that was a lot of fun, but the actual discs are at the wrong distance from the center plate. Let's change it and do it again. I had a lot of sparks coming out of the bottom there. The actual bars that connect into the gravity flyer were touching the motors themselves and arcing on the bottom. That's what all that uh, voltage looked like on the bottom there. It was just arcing on my motor. The noise you hear in the background, that's my computer going off. Every time you go doo doo, that's my computer going off. It absolutely hates high voltage and I absolutely torture it with it all the time. So far, it's been pretty fun just lighting it up, man. It's probably, you know, close to as good as we're going to get on a distance on the plate. It's always going to spark over a little bit. It's just way too high of a voltage. So I don't think it's good for the gravity flyer. But that won't stop us from lighting it up some more. Let's just get at it. You know, it's really cool to look at all this high voltage and everything, and it really makes for a good day, man, when you just have a bad day of testing. So, anyway, it looks really cool, man, but let's get into the uh, the speed of this thing, and just watch where the voltage flows as you increase the speed on things. It's kind of cool because it takes away the mystery of where it goes when you're at low voltage. In high voltage, you can actually see the flow of the energy, and I think that's awesome. So let's turn on the motor speed a little bit higher.
you know, when this voltage gets going, man, all the energy went to the bottom disc. It just said, you know what, we don't like the spark value of the upper disc. It still sprayed, but it didn't hit like the bottom did. As soon as we turned on the speed to a higher speed, it actually turned this thing way up on the energy on the bottom. So it ripped through it a lot faster. I don't know if you caught that, but the actual voltage on the bottom stayed that way, that high for a little while longer. So it's retaining voltage in that disc. All right, we're gonna blast this thing one more time. I'm gonna turn the actual motor speed way up right around like 4,000 RPM. Guys, for those of you who want to speed this thing up, just understand the frame itself is not going to have balance on the ground. It's going to shake everywhere. But man, is it a fun ride to watch. Well, I guess I broke my toy. I guess I'm going to have to rebuild this thing again. It's not the main gravity flyer I always test on, so I'm okay, but man, it was fun. I had a lot of fun zapping the living daylights out of this thing, man. 20 kV is never going to work in this thing, man. There's just too much energy there. And as far as speed, anywhere above 3000 RPM and this thing's toast, so... If you try to do it while it's on the ground, man, it's just going to rumble apart. So, anyway, hopefully you guys uh, had some fun with me today. And uh, thank you for watching this, guys. If you like what you saw today, please like, share, subscribe. Do all those fun things and make sure you comment. And have yourself a great day. Thank you.